What is going on guys welcome back in today's little video i'm going to show you how you can easily compile and also decompile or uncompile python scripts and this is not the same as taking them and turning them into executable files on windows so not the same as pi to exa i have a video on that as well today we're just going to turn python scripts readable python scripts into compiled binary PYC files and the other way around. So this is actually not an effective way to make the code unreadable to obfuscate it. It's more like compiling and decompiling is easy. So you can basically turn this binary file back into readable code. It's not uh, making your code in any way secret. So what you need to do for that is quite simple. You come up with a, bas a basic Python script. So for example, x equals integer input, enter the first number. Then we're copying that, changing it to Y, changing that to second. And all the script does is basically just printing X plus Y. Very simple script. And we can now run this like always in PyCharm. And you will see that I can enter 20 and 30 and I get 50. So what I can do now is I can open up my command line. So CMD on Windows or the terminal on Linux and Mac. And I can navigate to the directory. In this case, it's uh, this directory here. So this path on my computer. And here you can see that I have this main py file. What I have to do now is I have to say Python dash m and then pi underscore compile. And for that, you don't need to install anything. This is part of the core Python installation. Um, and then I just pass main.py. So that's basically it. And now you can see that we have this pycache folder. Now, by default, I think in PyCharm, it's not displayed. So the individual PYC files are not displayed. You have to turn that on in the settings to see that here on the left. But the file exists. And all you need to do now, for example, in the command line here is to go into that directory and to say Python um, main.cpython39pyc. And you can see that I can do the same thing here. Um, now, in order to turn this back now, or first of all, let me show you that you can open this and this is basically a binary file. You can read uh, a couple of things, for example, the strings here, but you cannot really see, you know, you have a bunch of, of bytes that you cannot really read here. Um, so if you want to, to uncompile that, you need to install a tool called uncompile. Actually, I think it's called uncompile six. So you need to go to your command line and you need to say pip install uncompile like that py like python not like it's actually written um six pip install uncompile six and if you now want to uncompile something you just type uncompile six and then in this case main.cpython39 pyc and then uh this greater than uh symbol and then uh uncompiled dot py now in this case however at this point in time it's not going to work because this tool does not support Python 3.9 yet, which does not mean that you can use this technique to obfuscate your code with Python 3.9. It's just a matter of time. Sooner or later, it will be possible or it is already possible, but you just need to do it in a different way. You can't always decompile it. So it's not like you're making your code unreadable and there's no way to reverse this. It's just that this tool does not support Python 3.9 yet. So if I run this, you're going to see unsupported Python version. Doesn't mean that Python 3.9 uh, is now a version where you can do that and you don't have to worry about anyone reading your code. Uh, what you can do, however, is you can also do this with Python 3.8. And I'm going to do this on the Windows subsystem for Linux now here because there I have Python 3.8. You don't have to be on Linux, though. You can do that on Windows as well. You just navigate to the neural directory and or to whatever uh, directory you are working in. And then you type Python 3-m pi underscore compile main dot py same thing uh the difference here of course is that python 3 in this case means python 3.8.10 um come on uh and now i can go to the directory here pycache and you can see here that i now have this c python 3.8 this was 3.9 this was the one on windows this is python 3.8 now so i can also just go ahead python 3 main dot c python 3.8 pyc i can run the same thing here you can see it works and now actually if i go ahead here and i say uncompile 6 main c python 3.8 so the version that is supported and now 
I'm going to call this decompiled.py. There you go, you see it worked. So now I have this decompiled py here and you can actually see that we have a bunch of comments here, but at the end of the day, this is the code. Uh, actually also with the same with the same parameters, with, with the same variable names. Um, and actually this can be done with way more complicated scripts. So for example, let me just go to my prepared folder here. Um, this here is one of the videos that I already made the paint clone in Python. So I can just copy paste this here. Uh, there you go, paste main two. This is basically the neural nine paint clone. I have a video on that. You can check that out if you want to. If I just run the Python script, you're going to see that this is the only file we need for that. I can draw here, I can save, I can increase, uh, increase brush size, I can choose colors and all that. So all this works and I can now compile this and you can see that I have very specific names, paint GUI and I have uh, safe BTN, clear BTN and so on. And I can go ahead now and compile this here on Linux with Python 3.8. So basically just Python 3 dash m pi underscore compile main to dot py. Then I go to the pi cache. Uh, and you can see that I have this now here. Now I'm going to run this on Windows because otherwise I'm going to need the GUI support and I don't have my Windows server running at the moment. Um, we need main main two. What's that now? Python main two. Okay, we have a problem. Yesterday it worked. So let me just fix that. I'm going to come back to you. All right, now I'm not sure why exactly this is the case, but if I type Python main two, uh, it says bad magic number, but if I type main two directly, it runs the compiled version. So you can see it actually works. And we can also go into, oh, I closed this actually. We can also go into the subsystem and see that the generated, um, the generated file is basically binary and unreadable. At least for us, we can see a couple of strings here, but basically a lot of bytes that we cannot really decipher as a human. And what I can do now is I can just uncompile this. So I can say uncompile six main two, whatever, and then pain clone decompiled dot py. Take some time. There you go. And now I have this paint clone decompiled py with a couple of comments, but you can see that I have the exact same code. Now, maybe some formatting issues, but we have the same names, we have the same functions, we have the same strings. So it's not really about making your code unreadable or safe or secret or anything. It's just compiling uh, for whatever reason you want to compile your files. But keep in mind that when you compile a Python file like that, you can also decompile it. And again, this is not the same as turning a Python file into an executable file. It's a whole different thing that you're doing. I have a video on that as well. If you want to know how to convert Python files into executable Windows files, check out my video on that. This is how you do basic Python compilations and or compilation and how you also decompile or uncompile back into readable source code. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and 